Hey guys, I'm back. Time to jump into some more Pokemon Yellow by making our way to Saffron City. However, before I proceed onwards to Saffron City, a viewer wanted me to do a rundown of my Pokemon party. I shall oblige and review the Pokemon in the order that I obtained them. The first Pokemon I obtained was Loki the Pikachu. I obtained Loki from Professor Oak in Pallet Town. Loki's moves consist of Thunderbolt, Agility, Slam, and Thunder Wave. The second Pokemon I obtained was Saitel the Needle King. I obtained Saitel in his pre-evolutionary form Nidoran on Route 22. Saitel's moves consist of Thrash, Rock Slide, Horn Attack, and Double Kick. The third Pokemon I obtained was Mozart the Venusaur. I obtained Mozart in Cerulean City in his pre-evolutionary form Bulbasaur. Mozart's moves consist of Toxic, Razor Leaf, Leech Seed, and Vine Whip. The fourth Pokemon I obtained was Kalik the Kadabra. I obtained Kalik in his pre-evolutionary form Abra on Route 5. Kalik's moves consist of Psychic, Psybeam, Recover, and Reflect. The last Pokemon I obtained was Thetis the Vaporeon. I obtained Thetis in Celadon City in his pre-evolutionary form, Eevee. Thetis's moves consist of Ice Beam, Surf, Acid Armor, and Aurora Beam. I do intend to obtain a sixth Pokemon for my party, however the Pokemon that I intend to use can only be obtained on Cinnabar Island. On that I shall leave viewers to figure out who my fifth final Pokemon shall be. With that, let's make our way to Saffron City. There are two ways you can get to Saffron City. You can get to Saffron City by taking Route 13. That will take you to Lavender Town, and from Lavender Town you can get to Saffron City. However, since I've already shown that route, I shall not use it. There is a second way you can get to Saffron City, and that is by that is by the cycling road. Since I have not shown that in my LP, I shall make up for that by taking the cycling road to Saffron City. Now it should be noted that there are trainers on this route. However, we shouldn't encounter any problems from them because I have already challenged them. I challenged the trainers on this route prior to challenging the Fuchsia City Gym when I was leveling my Pokemon team to level 45. The only problem we will encounter is from the Snorlax that is blocking our path to Celadon City. So you're probably wondering why I put Mozart on top in my Pokemon party, and that is because there's something I want to show. If you recall from my last video, I said there was a broken mechanic in Generation 1 involving Leech Seed and Toxic. If I can pull this off, I intend to show it. However, that can be exceedingly difficult given the fact that Snorlax has rest and can override any status condition.
So far, Snorlax is cooperating. I don't really want to inflict any damage on Snorlax because that will pretty much ruin what I want to show. Did you just notice that Leech Seed zapped more than it usually does? Yeah, that mechanic is pretty broken in Generation 1. And, well, I'm at full health. Oh, let's throw a Pokeball. Please do not capture, please do not capture. Good. Now don't use rest. Good. You're cooperating. Good, Snorlax. Ta-da! Yeah, that's a very broken mechanic. Pretty neat, huh? It should be noted that once Toxic is in play, even if the poisoning is cured, Leech Seed will still stack. So basically you will obtain more health than usual. So, with that out of the way, I'll put Loki Chu back on top. Once you arrive in Saffron City, it should be noted that you can't challenge the gym right away. Or at least not in red and blue, this is yellow, so I'll go check to make sure. And... Yeah, you can't challenge the gym right away. Okay, so that's still the same. Basically, if you recall from one of my earlier commentaries, I said Saffron City was under the control of Team Rocket. In order to break their control, you need to attack their center of operations, and that is at Slifco. So, let's begin, shall we? One of the first things you want to do when you arrive in Slifco is obtain the key card. And that is on floor 5, if I recall correctly. Is it here? Yeah, it's here. Once you can obtain the key card, you can move around in the building pretty freely. And in fact, if you want, you could avoid most of the trainers here. However, I don't really want to do that. And mainly because there's a lot of items that I want to obtain that are all, can only be found at Slifco. Most notable of the items is a TM that I want to teach to Saitel. Anyway, your key card is down here. Now, we can move around freely. Yay for warp tiles. Yeah, Slifco has a whole bunch of warp tiles which can make your life miserable. Anyway, let's go back downstairs. Given the fact that I intend to challenge all the trainers here in Slifco, if this becomes too tedious for viewers, then I would just suggest skip these parts. Because this is going to take a while. Not great artwork for Gold Bat.
No change. Long range trainer. Actually, yes, I will switch. Eh, let's go with Kalec. Hmm, not bad artwork from Magneton. There's no items here. Another useless TM, but yeah, there are TMs here, and that's why I want to go. Th want to do a four by four search, because as I said, there are TMs that here that I want to teach the Saitel. Basically, give him a better move set than what he has now. I know, Loki, you're not going to be good for that battle. Let's demonstrate Surf in battle. Yeah, how that represents Surf, I have no idea. But, that's what Surf looks like in Generation 1. Bullshit, you challenged me. So you're not with... You're not working for Slift Company. And if you are, you're a mole. And a lousy one at that. There we go. Way to go, Lucky Chu.
Oh, that was quick. Okay, um, Thetis then. Uh, because you challenged me? I mean, deductive reasoning there. Okay, let's switch my team here. To represent which ones I need to try next. There you go. Let's train Saito. Uh, there's nothing left on this floor, though we'll be coming back for it. Er, yeah. We'll be coming back to it because the warp panel takes us to the floor that would get us to floor 11. Um, yeah. I shall call it here. In the next part, we'll continue our trek through Slift Company, hopefully liberating it from Team Rocket. I hope everybody enjoys this, and I shall see you in the next episode.